Hey now, welcome back to the TMP project. We have our Landscape of Vulcan card because we're at the part of the movie where we first see Hippie Spock. I wouldn't call him Hippie Spock. McCoy had the hippie name with the with the medallion and all. This is Monk Monk Spock as he goes through the culinar ritual, purging all the logic from himself. And we begin with uh, card 76 because I was shuffling these cards and the uh, 79 cards aren't in any real particular order. So I had to take some time out and match the cards with the scenes and we, we, we arrive on Vulcan. And this is pre-special edition Vulcan, um, so the, the effects aren't what they should be. Nevertheless, this is uh, back here, this is supposed to be a big foot of a statue that we'll see in a moment. But this is our first introduction to Spock. This is right after the um, the Klingons are absorbed into V'ger, and we see the Epsilon Nine station telling us that this is there's there it's it's headed for Earth. And what is missing here in the movie is that that connection between V'ger and Spock for some reason. It's 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 an odd beat. It's not. It didn't quite pan out properly. I think the special edition does its best to make a transition between the two. We do see that played out in the Roddenberry novelization, which deserves its own show or two. And there have been some very good podcasts that go through the problems with this novel. Uh, but here we see um, a little bit of that. And that's a digression for another day. Plenty of source material to be shared as I go through these annotations of the movie with my cards. All right, so we're going up to the Colonier Masters. I think I, I got the scene wrong because she's 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 got the she's got the little necklace right here ready to give to Spock. Um, but uh, here here's the uh, '94 Skybox card, and there's the foot again. This was the original special effects. Didn't quite pan out. We realized that there's some some big person there, and and that's all. But uh, a little darker in the '94 card. Little background on Spock undergoing the culinar. Now, what we do in the spe now the, originally the Vulcan masters were just uh, speaking in English, uh, but uh, later on they were dubbed to. So it was up to James Doohan to create the Vulcan language for these scenes that were originally just done in English. So we you can still read the lips and see the English. Lip readers could make out the English. I couldn't say lip reading. Lip readers. So there is Spock having the conversations. Now, I think this scene was right at the back lot of uh, of Paramount where they, they did the... Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a tank back there that they used for Star Trek IV and also the Ten Commandments. But they, they also spent a little bit of time like in Death Valley for a day, and I don't know if any of that footage, except for Spock walking up to the Masters, or uh, uh, is, is even there. So there we are with the culinary. She's about to give, 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 give the trophy. Now we're, we're walking through the movie. Trophy's getting stop. Stop. There's a there's a call from space, and it touches his human half. We haven't done the meld. We don't have a meld card, right? But the, it, it's the it's a, it, and and the Vulcan the the Vulcan matriarch here is discussing you know I, I sense this it's calling you from space there's a link with V'ger and and Spock right there so that's the call from space that we see yes he has earned the right to do this Spock kneels reaches out and stops it touches your human I don't I think that got changed to human half not. Uh, in the in the special edition, you can tell how much I love the special edition, the director's edition over the uh, the, the previous ones. All right, and answer lies elsewhere. This is how the scene ends, and then we transition to Kirk, which is going to be our next show. Uh, I, I got two more cards with Spock because I found, but here we go with the skybox, uh, the Colinar, uh having mind melded. We don't see the a mind meld card. Hey, there it is. There's there's a little necklace again. I think that sold uh, that sold in the Christie's auction. I don't know how, for, how somebody owns that now. Um, all right, and the before cards that I still got kind of out of order. We have our '79 intro to Hippie Spock on Spock's native world. So there he is, 
Do we have any? Nope, this is still poster card time. They're all posters. There's nothing on the back of these cards. And the Vulcan, Mr. Spock. I would, I would put a comma in between Vulcan and Mr., but okay, the Vulcan, Mr. Spock. So there he is. In his, in his, in his, in his, in his uh, monk get up, ready to go. So I should have started with these cards, but that's okay. You, you get the order. Now, what do I want to, uh, to springboard off of here as we go backwards here? The answer lies elsewhere. Um, again, this is the first time we see Vulcan uh, sense a monk time. Um, we forgot, uh, forgot the line. It was not in a monk time. I think it was in the man trap where Vulcan has no moons. This is all rectified in the special edition. Go watch the special edition. That's going to be the, the through line through all of these shows, how well the special edition really brings to life what this movie is supposed to be about. Makes makes me happy. Uh, there we go. Nothing on the back. Now all these cards. No, these. I'm very disappointed with the 79 cards. Uh, so what else can I do with the takeaway? Now we see um, again my favorite episodes of Enterprise would be um, the Forge. It is part of the Vulcan trilogy in the fourth season, uh, where we have a few Colinar references, especially when uh, Archer's walking through the caves. Uh, the not not catacombs. This is not Wonder Woman, you know. Um, uh, you know where the where the bodies are buried, and he, this is a Colonar master. And and by that time, Archer is already. I don't know why I'm talking about Enterprise. I can do a whole other episode of that. Uh, so there we go. This is the fun. This is where we first see Spock. It gives us the alien atmosphere. The uh, the original matte painting, not great, very rushed, but that's what it was. A lot better now. So here are the cards. Spock, Spock, Spock. And there we see him. So this is a scene, one, to reacquaint us with uh, where Spock's at, what he's up to, and then make the link between Spock and V'ger. Not a strong link, but a, a link nonetheless. Now, here I want to bring back the novelization real quick before I go today. Uh, the idea was in the Roddenberry novelization that all Starfleet officers had these these implants that were uh, they they could pick up communications. The star, there's like in a Starfleet emergency band in their head. So um, the novel kind of alludes to Spock's picking that up because Kirk picks it up too, and not quite V'ger reaching out to Spock. So again, because this movie was so rushed, it was during the end where Roddenberry's attempting to write the novel based on the screenplay that he keeps tweaking. So the nice thing about pushing Rodding, Roddenberry out of the process which was needed it had he, he gave himself time to then write this novel get him out of the way so he can do all the the Roddenberry like things he wants to do with Trek in this novel which which, which he certainly did uh, and then and then Bob Weiss can finally direct his movie without Roddenberry always trying to get into the script and by this time too not this time but but by the time Roddenberry's writing the novel he's pretty much checked out of the movie because that's that's what he does and then Shatner and Nimoy got to have some um, uh, some say so in the script because that was the contract because that that was a mess now primary sources I got a few behind me ah uh, that's its own show I think this is enough so this is your introduction to Spock there's where he's been here's what he's doing he hears the call he's got to stop he takes some time to cut his hair um, and then he's off to the Vulcan shuttle, which has its own set of cards, but we're not there yet, are we? So that is, uh, that's the opening, uh, this box scene. This is the Vulcan scene from TMP.